So what what's the microchip do to the people that purchase them? Like, how do they work for the average day person? Uh, well, we'll release the nanobots for to take over the neural cortex, and then I run them from my PlayStation. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess just create a seamless, friction-free, everyday lifestyle. I mean, I have to look for my keys, my wallet, my my this that. Uh, if I get my gym card in my bag when I change bags, you know, I I get to pay a fine, a two-year-old fine, if I don't have my card. So now I get. I'll get it in my chip implant instead. Uh, entrance to the office, I get an entrance to the gym, I de deactivate and activate the alarm. Uh, I do the, do the shopping for a, for a drink with the microchip. That little sequence alone has saved me maybe a minute. One chip to rule them all. <laughs> just that would just well, and you pre you predefine your digital experience like all right what do you want happening Monday through Thursday when you enter the office if I enable you to tie your digital persona to your actual physical person by integrating technology into your body and I'm giving you a digital voice that can speak for you in machines native language but also if you can't speak for yourself like, you find a horse running around in the Stockholm city center, they gave him a digital voice or her. So I don't have one. I do now, but they don't know it. So if they find me on the street and I'm diabetic, they're gonna think I'm drunk and put me in the, the drunk tank and I'm gonna die, which is boring. I want to make things easy because <laughs> I always forget my shit. And what do you think of it? I mean, I forget all my stuff because I'm fairly limited. Fairly limited because I'm a human being. Of course, there's ways to train your memory and jog your memory. I can write post-its and put all my stuff in the same place all the time, but I forget to do that as well. So having everything <laughs> stuck in my hand at all times makes my life very simple. And I want to make it simple for everyone else as well, because I can. So next step, some more services and adding more value, um, take away administration and, I don't know, make stuff better. There's so much that's crap that really needs to be improved. <laughs> Hello, human. The restaurant is over there. Bathrooms are there and there. If you need a human receptionist, they are over there. One day I will dream with electric sheep. Epicenter welcomes you home. I am going to implant this nice young lady with a NFC microchip. Cyborg. I love sci-fi and, and fancy things, so that's one reason. So this is just perfect. And also I love technology. Like I'm just constantly at home connecting everything to everything. You know, the computers to the TV, to the phones, to the like LP player and to, you know. Awesome. That's so much fun. Just like thinking about technology, building, whatever. So uh, that's also one thing. I mean, this is a new technology coming, so I love it. <laughs> Jos tällainen teknologia ihon alle tai kehoon asennettava teknologia 
tulee, niin sitten yllättäen niitä on kaikkialla. Mutta jälleen kerran siihen liittyy sitten tietoturva ja muut tällaiset seikat. Ja pitää varmaan hyvin tarkkaan miettiä, että puututaan siihen, että tällainen teknologia ei lähetä käyttäjästään mitään tietoja sellaisille tahoille, jotka sitä tietoa ei tarvitse. Jos ei ole itse ollut mukana seuraamassa vierestä asti, että miten sellainen siru valmistetaan ja mitä kaikkea siihen tulee, niin sanoisin, että kannattaa olla tosi varovainen ennen kuin sellaisia ottaa kehonsa ja kannattaa miettiä niiden tarkoitukset tosi huolellisesti.